My name is Jeremy Cusker. I'm the uh, Engineering and Earth Sciences Outreach Library, and I've been at Cornell for nine years. The DataViz Materials Properties um, function in engineering, access engineering is uh, really useful. Um, it's a kind of a, a great sort of value added function to the ebooks we have that it has this tabulated data across all the books and you can put in a given material and find all known properties for it. Um, and this is useful for the students, I said, for example, in project teams that they're considering something that's going to be sub, you know, subjected to a certain amount of heat or pressure or chemical exposure or, or something like that. Um, and they can then you know, quickly find that reference in there. Um, it's one of those cases where you know, I could direct them to um, the you know, traditional journal literature, but being able to find this sort of abstracted um, critical value is really useful to them and to me, um, just as a time-saving measure. Um, and being able to see it this way is really great. Um, sometimes I have challenges because the students don't necessarily know the name of the material they're dealing with, or they may know a trade name for, which isn't necessarily aggregated in the same way. And I'll have to do a little extra research to find out, okay, so what is the actual chemical formulation of a, you know, a fabric or something that they actually need to look up. Um, and you know, it's useful for that in that way. And then in many cases that there are uh, manufactured products that have uh, more than one thing in them, and they draw their you know properties from a combination of materials, and that can be uh, challenging sometimes. Um, but in general, it's great to have access to this kind of thing, and the fact that they can you know find that one piece of data and, and export it you know in and of itself, and it comes along with its own citation information, is really helpful to them. A lot of professors, you know, we're encouraging faculty. Um, and we still maintain a very active you know, reserve program for students, um, for course reserves. You know, we'll, if we have copies of a textbook, we will put them on hold, usually on two-hour reserve. They're heavily used, um, and the students will you know, check them out one after another you know, in line, particularly as a problem set is due that night or something. Um, we're encouraging faculty to look in our collection we have, or to look online and find um, e-books they want to use as course material. And to that end, like, you know, we've been able to find within Access Engineering, you know, usually, usually it's not a question of a student needing to read a book cover to cover. It's more just like a professor needs to refer to a particular topic in class and will just assign a chapter or part of a chapter. So, you know, one example we were given by a, a faculty recently was uh, Energy Systems Engineering Evaluation Implementation is the title. And here we go. And he actually wrote it himself, but he had just <laughs> maybe why he is he's referring students to it. But he wanted them to read, you know, part of this as um, I think as part of a um, uh, junior or senior seminar um, about engineering, uh, energy engineering, um, and um, the ability to get access to these things. So, for example, let's pull out the one on solar vo photovoltaic technologies, and then it breaks it down by this level. And being able to get down to the level of a section. And then this option here to do a PDF download is very much prized by students because in many cases they will want to look at it right, they'll, they'll find what they need and then they need to go back to it later. Um, and they'll want to have sort of a personal library of this stuff. So being able to get this in PDF format, um, you know, sort of in the best possible, you know, portable way is really helpful to them. Um, and then it can be sort of, you know, passed along between, you know, tablets or the devices they may have, um, whatever it is they're using to study with. Um, a lot of students are from the, you know, the cult of Mac here, which is fine. But um, they want to be able to look at the same thing via multiple means. And you know, increasingly, as I mentioned, like these citation management programs will maybe to do attach the um, relevant PDF to the actual citation. So you can do your, your citation manager becomes also your library, um, which you know is great. Um, and if the students can all get access to it at the same time, it certainly saves, um, I mean, that's just a net savings all around. It saves them the trouble of having to get the book. Um, it uh, saves us the trouble of having to maintain a physical um, reserve copy of it there.